everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your dishwasher. So have you ever noticed when you get dishes out of your dishwasher that they sometimes have bits of food still stuck on them and you can't understand why you're using really good dishwasher tablets. You're doing everything that you should be doing. You're using rinse aid, you're using dishwasher tablets and they still don't come out clean. It's most likely because your dishwasher hasn't been cleaned in a while, which means your filters are all clogged up, so they're not actually getting gunk out of your dishwashing machine. So it's all coming back up onto dishes that are supposed to be clean. I'm going to show you how to stop that from happening. So this is my dishwasher. It came when I bought my apartment. I got it with it. It's kind of a cheap one, but it actually works really well as long as you make sure that you keep it clean. I clean it about once a month, once every two months. When I start to see that my dishes um, are getting that throwback from the filter, that's when I will go ahead and clean it out. So, the first time that I actually cleaned this dishwasher, it was absolutely disgusting. Um, I don't know how long it had been installed in the apartment for, but it it was vomit worthy when I, um, the first time that I tried to clean it. So that's why I make sure that I'm on top of it and I clean it regularly. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove your bottom shelf. That should be easy to do. It should just come out like this. Now, one thing that I will say, different dishwashers work differently. So please consult your manufacturer instructions before going ahead and starting to pull all your filters out. Generally, in the um, instruction manuals that your manufacturer gives you, they will tell you how to remove the filters and generally will give you some indication of how to keep your dishwasher clean and maintained. With this particular dishwasher, one of the biggest things that I have noticed, now I'm just gonna move my camera so you can see exactly what I mean. Between the door and the unit itself, I hope you can see that. You get this build up here, which I need to get rid of. So not only are we gonna clean the filter, we're also going to clean around all of the doors so that I can get rid of all of that gunk and have a really nice sparkling clean dishwasher before I go ahead and run a cycle with nothing in the dishwasher. All right, so with this particular machine, I've zoomed into my filter and you'll see there's some gunk there. I just, I did the load last night and I've taken everything out. I'm going to pull out my entire filter. This is what I mean by your filter. If you have a look at this now, I'm sorry because it's absolutely disgusting. Let me just zoom out. This is what I mean by your dishwasher isn't working efficiently. Do you see all of that grease and grime and disgusting stuff that builds up on your filter? Once you've gotten to this stage, nothing's getting clean. You need to clean this filter in order to make sure that your dishwasher is working efficiently and your dishes are getting clean. I also have this little part that comes in the dishwasher that is also getting cleaned. These are the parts that I can remove. The rest of it we're going to clean, we're going to wipe down with dishwashing liquid and soap and water. I've put all of my filter parts inside my sink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my sink with really hot water and add some dishwashing liquid. I'm going to let them sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just for all of that grease and grime to start to dissolve into the water. And then I'm going to come back and just with a sponge, clean them off and get them really nice and clean before I go ahead and put them back in. Okay, so I've come back to my washing machine, um, my washing machine, my dishwasher now, and I'm going to go ahead and clean all around those seals. Um, I'm going to clean wherever there is gunk so that I can get rid of all of that and have a sparkling, nice, clean wash the dishwashing machine. I'm not 
too worried about the inside of the this part of the washing machine <laughs> dishwasher <clears throat> apart from the filter because I'm going to run an empty load which means that all of those parts will get nice and clean. It's just the, the parts I'm focusing on at the moment are the parts that aren't inside the machine themselves where food and stuff get stuck but it's never cleaned off because it's not being touched by any of the water when it's running a cycle. So they're the parts I'm really focusing on to get nice and clean. So these have been soaking for about 20 minutes and all I'm going to do is grab my sponge and just wash them out as clean as I can. I just want to get all of that disgusting food gunk off there. What left to do is to reassemble our filters inside our um, filter tray here. So I have my, yep, this way down. I've got these two pieces, so this just, this one simply clicks on to this piece here and then this goes inside here and you just <clears throat> sometimes it takes a little bit of wiggling there we go to actually get it locked back in place now that that's nice and clean I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my other ingredients which is the final step of cleaning the dishwasher and that's going to be running a cycle <clears throat> Two secret ingredients. First one, baking soda. Second one, white vinegar. That's all you need. So the first thing that I'm going to put in is I'm going to use a cup of baking soda or bicarb soda. And I'm just going to sprinkle it at the bottom of my dishwasher. have time leave this overnight if you don't just run it straight away what the baking soda will do is it will deodorize and unclog all of your filters um, you can actually do this once a week if you don't want to go to the full extent of taking out the filters washing them like we just did and you just want a weekly um, quick dishwasher clean Use a cup of bicarb soda, put it at the bottom, leave it for a few hours, put some vinegar on top like we're going to do, and then run an empty cycle. So I'm going to run a cycle now just so you can see how it works. I would try if I could to leave it overnight. I've got one cup of vinegar here and I'm just going to put it over the bicarb soda so we can get that nice reaction. There we go. You'll see it nice and foam up now. All I'm going to do now is put in my bottom row, put in my cutlery drawer so they can all get a nice clean. And then I'm going to run a load. I'm going to run a full, hot, heavy load just to get my dishwasher nice and clean and that will keep me going for another three months. Oh, two to three months. Now it's as easy as turning it on heavy and start and that'll be a hot heavy load. So once your load is finished you will have a nice clean and deodorized dishwasher that smells really nice and you can go in and put in your dishes now and you can expect them to come out nice and clean. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button down in the description and if you like my channel please consider subscribing for more budget friendly videos where we've got recipes, organizing and lots of other uh, how to and lifestyle videos on a budget. So, so I will see you next time. Bye!